Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay, while I, I was at Georgia Bushcraft, I had several people come up that had blackbird haversacks and were interested in the blackbird, uh, the nighthawk knapsack and were wanting to know how it connected. Would it connect? They had a early, what I call the Mark I, which was made by Campcraft and it's got the sewn tube that is the strap. Yes, it will fit this bag. Others had what I call the Mark II, and it has this kind of bag, but it's got the webbing, which is the, cam the, the cotton canvas webbing on it. And now we're on the Mark III, and I just, there's no designation there just for me to understand. And this has got the military spec nylon webbing, because we couldn't get the canvas webbing reliably. So we've gone to that. All three will hook on to a Nighthawk knapsack. So let me show you that right quick. Now this is it set up the way I carried it to Georgia Bushcraft. This is a Blackhawk haversack with a fire kit and everything and it's not fully stocked but it's the one I normally carry is this one and I could put this one on there if I wanted to but since I have a source of them I have two. Okay. When you lift it up this is the Nighthawk, which is a small rucksack slash knapsack, good for about a 72 hours worth of camping gear and etc. They have the loops sewed onto it, and I have my kukri lashed to this side, I have my saw lashed to this side, and on this side I have a cabiner that allows uh, an S-hook where I can unhook and just a loop so I can get to my grail for water off the side of it. Pretty easy. Just like that, so it's scary. The top is a roll tie that I use two D-rings, and I'm utilizing, sorry for the aircraft. Two D-rings, and there are two D-rings on one on each end that allows this to be a roll tie. In the back of it, there's a big pocket that allows you to slide a foam pad or something in for storage for quick in and out access for a place to sit, etc. And it acts like a frame for the back. I took that directly from the German Alpine uh, rucksack, which has such a pad back there. Close it up, you just simply roll away from you or toward you, but I like to roll away from you. So the top kinks over. Come over, lock, and I'll take and lock it to that top right there. Now, on the back side is where your Alice straps hook. There's a pair of D-rings up here, and there's a pair of D-rings on wings down here. And there's also a strip of that webbing on the bottom. I hooked mine to the bottom, but you could hook them right here to these D-rings. Okay. And then right there is that pad, which is a folded up piece of dense foam slid in with a trash bag and a pair of, of uh, gloves, leather gloves right there for easy access. So I can open up the top and reach straight into that pocket without having to dig everything out of my pack to get to it. Up there on the top right here is a tube. And this tube is where the strap for the blackbird goes. Okay? So, this is the extra strap. Now notice, it's wrapped around the carrying handle that's on the back of the Blackbird. By doing this, this makes a, a lift-up handle to carry the whole ruck, see? And so, my theory was, once you got to the campsite, the haversack comes off. That's what I'm gonna wear as I'm doing my scouting and my stuff around. And all the camping gear, clothes, food, etc., comes out of the knapsack. Now once I've set up my shelter and everything else, this bag is 80% empty now, isn't it? That allowed this to be hooked to a tree to be a cargo, you know, where I don't have to keep digging in it. And the haversack would then be on me. So I still had all my essentials covered, but it was now a smaller bag to carry around than carrying a big old rucksack. Now, back to the focus, how they attach together. All I've done right here, let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see a little closer. All 
all I've done is taken the extra strap after I've run through and hooked to the buckles and wrapped it around the handle. So, pull this back, pull this back. Now, I pull, and here's the strap. Wrapped around the handle that's already part of the back of the Blackbird. This makes a nice, big, thick handle to grab to pick up this whole full ruck without it being a bind on your hand. There's that loop. Now, over here's the D-ring that's part of the rucksack. I just thread the whole thing down onto it, past the normal stop onto the full sewed loop where you carry a saw blade. Like that. That comes out. Now, this is just a tube See right there that's going through that's sewed in right here below reinforced to the shoulder strap so that is the strap that comes out you pull it out and there is your ready to go blackbird So there's your ready to go blackbird. Now you take it, come around. I like to come the bag facing away from me. Again, sorry for the aircraft guys. We're doing training on Fort Novacell. Used to be Fort Rucker, they just changed the name. So you come back from the front to the back, pull it to wherever you want it to go, whatever length you normally do, double it in half, and go back between them. Now originally when this was a sewed strap or when it became that webbing, that canvas webbing, it was a lot thicker than this military grade nylon webbing. And so people have said it slips a little. What happens is when it's under tension it locks. But when there's no tension there, this can this loop can slip a little. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make it just big enough, a little bit of loop standing up, and take your excess and just double it over and come from the outside going in. Kind of shove it through there a little bit. Okay. Let me show you that again. Up close. I go to where I want it. I double it over. And I go between the D-rings. And then I pull up on it. And that locks it in. Now when I pull the strap, it squeezes those two D-rings together by friction. It locks them so it's not going to go. That leaves this loop. Now I take from the outside of the bag, I take the strap and I fold it up and I stick it through that loop just a little and that will slide down just a little and lock it in place. But it's still a quick disconnect because since I came from the outside of the bag when I grab this tab and yank, it's going to pull it out and pull it out of the D-ring. <coughs> Excuse me. Yo pond starting to bloom down here. So that locks it where it can't slip. But at the same time, if I'm gonna be crossing water or whatever, and there might be something that this could hang me up, I can grab this and yank and it'll go boop, come out, and then boop, snatch out. So one quick snatch and the thing will still fall off of me. Okay? Again, stretch it up a little, stick that loop in from the outside, and then pull it down tight like that. So in emergency I go and it just falls off the bag. Quick disconnect. If you've ever come out, ever been crossing water or slide down a bank or something and this strap gets hung up on something behind you that you can't reach and you're kind of trapped, I made it where you grab a hold of it and get out of it. Um, I got trapped a couple of times. Not with this, but with other haversacks I've used over the years in living history and etc. Where you'd be doing something and things just go sideways and you'd slide down or whatever and that strap would get hung up on some piece of gear on your back or would be hung up on a limb, a stub, a stump, whatever behind you and you couldn't get out of the bag and you couldn't get up. And I'm not going to cut the strap if I can avoid it. So I would instead, I made it for a quick disconnect. I learned this trick from Grouch, who taught me how Force Recon Marines would do this to uh, 
try and lock down their gear in combat and still make it where they could snatch and drop the gear off of them in case of an air jump or something. You'd have it where you could jump or you'd be helicasting into water or whatever. And if a piece of gear hung you up, you could yank and it just come off of you without having to dig out a knife. But that's how it comes off, okay? Now, once it's off, can I put it back on? Yes. You just gotta understand this tube is gonna be fairly loose even when the pack's loaded like now. So what you're gonna do is you're going to pull your quick disconnect, make sure your strap is straight, take the nylon and work it through that loop. Just like that. Lay the, uh, the haversack up there and pull it till it pulls snug on this side. Now come up, come bottom going to top, just like that, through the rings. Then you want to come over the top and go between the rings. You just separate the rings and come between them. Pull it down there snug and guide the thicker part through where the loop goes for the uh, blade. There we go. Can be a little fiddly. Pull it down tight. Now you take, come up here and you just start rolling over that handle right there. I just come from underneath and start looping it around it just like this and that becomes your big grab handle for the whole pack just like this working your way down the length of the strap you get all the way down here to the bottom and go back the other way pulling it snug and when you get to the nylon the thin nylon Wrap it over. And I normally come to this end down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come around. I'm going to leave a little bit of slack. Poke it up. And I'm going to go underneath and pull. And that will cinch it up. Now I've got a quick grab handle right there. Pick up. And move the rucksack. So I hope that explains that yes, it can be taken off and put on with the Nighthawk full. You can easily um, put the buckles where it's a quick disconnect when you're wearing it as a haversack. If you have the Mark I that was made by Jason and Campcraft, it will fit this bag. It will not have, the Mark I does not have the grab handle that came in in the Mark II, but you can still just simply fold up the excess handle and shove into that strap, into that tunnel. That's what, the reason we made that tunnel so large was the extra strap could be folded up and pushed up in there out of the way so it's not dangling down and hanging on stuff. I don't like straps hanging everywhere on a rucksack. I will shorten the extra lengths that are not needed off of straps and things. For example, where the Alice Pack strap fit on here up top, I made sure that they fit properly and locked down solid and then I cut them off. I didn't want 18 more inches flopping around up there. Cut them and burn them. I've got plenty of adjustment down here on the bottom. I don't need it up here at the top because it's just going to be holding this. And as long as it's gone through back, back through the buckle and up there, there's plenty locked. There's nothing going to come loose, but I can take it loose if I needed to or replace it with different uh, straps. Those are just $14 off of Walmart. Alice Pack straps came out of China. Worked just fine for this application. But I, I don't like them hanging straps everywhere. They always hang up, they're always in the way. And I've seen guys walking with packs and it just looks like fringe hanging off the side like this when they're walking. And invariably when you're in a hurry and it's something I got to get to this right now, 
invariably it's going to get in the way. So I always shorten it down to usable length, usable adjustment, and get rid of that extra. Hope this gives you some ideas, guys. Please leave any questions or comments below. And yes, we are going to be doing another run of both the Blackbird Haversacks and the Nighthawk Rucksacks in the month of May. Those of you that are on this current run, delivery will be somewhere in the middle to late part of May. I talked to Jay the other night and he said, yes, we're on, we're on target. So we're gonna have them shipping out somewhere in that time. As soon as I, they arrive to me and I'm ready to ship, I'll announce the next run, okay? Guys, thank you so much for all your support and I hope this answers your questions. Till next time, guys, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.